think first and foremost, um, you know, be serious about uh, creating an inclusive workforce. You know, when you talk about diversity and inclusion at workplace, a lot of times we focus, tend to focus more around gender, ethnicity, or your know, sexual orientation, but disability tends to drop off from the conversation. And so it's about time to just revisit what your diversity policy actually means. And if disability is not part of your diversity conversation, then you're really not serious about diversity. So I think that's the first step uh, from senior leadership. I think the second step from there is just to have an open mind. Uh, and you know, there's some amazing organizations out there like you know, from Accessibility TIC, for example, who you can actually get an accreditation. And as you go through the accreditation process, you evaluate yourself. What are some of your framework policies or processes that you can improve on to make sure that you're not blindsided by your unconscious bias. So I think that's the second step. And of course, third step, uh, speak to employers who currently employ people with disability. You'll be amazed by the business performance that people with disability can bring to your organization.